Hello guys and welcome to the Android Developer Africa community and in this video we're going to talk about the frame layout, the details of it and how to use it in your Android design. So as you may have heard, the frame layout is simply a layout the Android provides us where each element you add to the frame layout kind of superimposes or kind of hide the previous element. For example, this is a frame layout we have. I will increase so you can have a better view of it. No, yes, this is okay. So this is our frame layout, and we have one item in the frame layout currently a text view. Let me add a background to our frame layout so you can better understand uh, what I'll be explaining. I'll add a background of color primary. Okay, and the background of our text view will be something like white. Yes. Let me increase the text size. Text size, let's say 16 SP. Right? Or oh, 24 XP. Yes, better, better that way. So this is our frame layout. And you can see that if I add is if I add another text view to our frame layout, this new text view will, will hide the previous text view. Let's move to the design mode. And I will add a new text view to our frame layout and uh, you'll find out that uh, this is a new text view I added to our frame layout and let me go back to the split mode and uh, let me say the width is match parent and this has a background let me add a background of white too All right and a text size of 24. So what do you notice? You just notice that uh, our second text view is currently hiding the previous text view, which is the first text view, because if I change the text here, for example, to second uh, text view, you see, the first text view is completely absent, it com is completely invisible right so that is how the, the the frame layout works each element you you add to, to the frame layout uh will hide the previous element but 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 there's a way we can have several items in the frame layout uh where they will not be hidden where they will not be superimposed to do that we will use a property called the gravity the gravity so if i add a gravity to the second text view let's say a gravity uh let's say gravity bottom yes a layout gravity of bottom and you can see that the second text view has moved to the bottom of the frame layout but this can work because the frame layout currently has a height of match pairing so it will occupy the whole space and our text view the second text view will be displayed at the bottom of the frame layout so what if i add for example let me what if i duplicate this text view and Add it as a text text view tree. Add it with an ID of text view tree. Let's say a third text view. You see the text text the third text view since the gravity is also bottom is hiding the second text view that used to be here. So I can change the gravity, for example, to say center, and you will see that the third text view has moved to the center. So this is how the frame layout works. It's true we can have multiple items in the frame layout but if we do, if we don't use the layout gravity these items will be superimposed will be placed on top of each other and the user of your application or when this you when your design will be rendered on the mobile device just the last item will be displayed but with the usage of the layout gravity we can determine where each of these items should be placed on the screen so that is how the, the frame layout works. You very very interesting layout, as I said. Uh, that is it for the frame layout. So, just let me know if you have any questions about the frame layout. I'll be happy to give you more details in the comment section below. If you have questions, please drop them in the comment section below, and as I said, I will answer each of them. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe and see you in the next video.